How's it going? This is Chris from the faculty. Today I'm going to do a quick video of how to get your big green egg ready to go for either grilling or smoking. So what I have here, you need to have a cover on your grill, any grill that, for that matter. One to protect the thermometer so it doesn't get lo uh, waterlogged and that will cause it not to work. If you're on a deck or any wooden surface, I would get one of these fireproof mats. I got this one from Home Depot for about $35. Uh, I use an oven thermometer because I don't have one of those fancy ones yet. See some of your grill tools. You have to have an ash tool to clean out from your last burn. I use an electric starter. So you just plug up my extension cord to this, get it going. You have to use lump charcoal. This is a company out of Yaleville, Arkansas. I'm at a Little Rock, so I want to use this one. It's made in Arkansas, and two. It does a job. I use a metal bucket to scrape out the ash. One, if it's hot, you know I don't want it falling on my on my deck. So this metal bucket will help it not to burn anything. And the plate setter are used for long smokes or indirect cooking. All great tools. So we'll take this cover off and get going. As you can see, I have a medium egg. So I'm going to open it up from last time. I always put the daisy wheel on the grates after I get done to help burn off any excess rust that may be on there. Obviously you get to, to move a little bit smoother. So take this out, set it down. Got my grates. Use this ash tool. Pull this off. Set it down like so. Get in here, you can see the white ash. It's kind of hard to see with the sunlight. But you want to knock this stuff off, clean it out, let it fall down through the bowl, and we're going to clean it up after. So let me cut this and I'll be back. So I knocked down all the old ash from my last burn. Now, you get this handy tool in here and scrape all the ash in. There's a couple different sections. Yeah, one back here, one over here, and one to the right. Make sure you get all that, because what that does, that, that will reduce the airflow. You want that air path as clean as it can be. So I'm gonna do this, and I'll get back to y'all. So this is what came out of mine. Those little bitty pieces fell through. Some folks would probably reuse those. But that's what I have when it looks cleaned out. So I'm gonna stack on some of this Ozark Oak. Put a little pecan chips and get ready to get this thing going. So I filled in the rest of the charcoal, what I think I need for this next one I'm going to do. And we should be good to go. If you have any questions, comments, observations, let me know. It's Chris from the faculty, signing out.